The rock slide here on the Fraser River has turned water flow into a fire hose, spewing rapids at the rate of about a third of what you'd see at Niagara Falls. This slab over here has fallen down across the entire length of the river. So the water level above is 16 feet higher, or five meters higher here. There is no hope for the fish to um, make it up anywhere along here where you see the wall. Vincent Bryan is CEO of Woosh Innovations. They specialize in getting salmon to hard to reach spots with a salmon cannon. Here's their setup at the Cleellum Dam. Fish swim into a trap and they're moved upstream through this tube. Woosh says it could move about 50,000 salmon a day over the rock slide on the Fraser River. A lot more than what they say is currently transported by helicopter operations. The day that I was there, they had caught, I think, 24 fish up to that point. They were, this was early in the process, they've no doubt improved it. Uh, but uh, I think there's a recognition by everybody on the ground that um, if we're going to really save the run, we have to be doing uh, a lot more than it's being done today. The Fraser River is one of the Northwest's most vital stretches of salmon habitat. It's expecting millions of Chinook, sockeye, and pinks in the near future. Southern resident killer whales depend on the river for a major portion of their diet. If we don't do everything that we can here, what we're talking about uh, for the fish and the peoples along the rivers is, uh, is devastation for uh, probably decades. Brian says they're in communication with government officials about possibly bringing their salmon cannon to the rescue. But they say the process is taking way too long. If the salmon are trapped, they'll die without spawning. This is uh, something that has that can have an effect for years upon years after this. Time is running out, and that's the urgency here. In Seattle, I'm Allison Morrow, King 5 News.